What is up guys, Tony here, and today we're doing another montage editing tutorial. I'm on a roll today, I'm recording lots of them. And today we're recording one that's actually very useful, although it's very simple at the same time. Uh, this is how to do uh, glitchy slash bad signal type effects. Um, there's a lot of ways to do these, and there's a lot of different versions of what I just said. Uh, there's the you know typical like, staticky type thing. There's the shaking types thing, like earthquakes. And there's also uh, something where you just have it flashing and losing signal and things like that. So there's a lot of ways you can do this. Uh, the main way that most people use on typical vanilla uh, Final Cut is this. This wavy bad TV effect, which by the way you can increase, have it wave even more and glitch out even more, which is pretty cool looking actually. Actually looks a lot better than most effects on typical uh, Final Cut Pro. And there's some, you know, random things you can mess around with in here. Uh, you can have it roll a bit too. Uh, but here's the thing. First off, the roll, if you didn't notice, it doesn't move. It, it, it's static. It stays still. Um, that is obviously fixable by, you know, the magical, amazing thing that we call keyframing. Because if I come over here and I hit frame, and then I come over here and I move it to... I don't know, there, I frame it again, and then I come over here, and I bring it back down, whatever, whatever, and then I come over here, you can see it rolls around a bit. It was kind of a poor job, poorly done, but it does roll. So it is possible, but to be honest, it's not that great. It is really just poorly done, and Apple, of course, could have done a better job as per usual. Anyway, so there's a way to fix this. Uh, it's not all bad news. The way I fix it is I go ahead and I downloaded a custom effect. Uh, if you go on to fcp.co, it's spelt exactly as I just said, CO for co, uh, you can get this effect called Bad TV. Uh, I believe it's called like Better Bad TV for Final Cut Pro. Uh, it allows you to have all these amazing effects in here. For example, you can turn up the waviness a lot, have it really wavy, a lot of static. Uh, speaking of static, you can increase the static a ton and have that really cool, you know, old school looking static. I like to keep that down pretty low, like probably around nothing, to be honest. You can turn up the scan lines, turn them down. Uh, you can turn the scan line brightness up or down, have it look a little bit more old school or not really at all. Or even have a black, apparently. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, you can also, what else can you do here? You can also uh, turn up the number of scan lines, turn them down, which is also pretty cool. And you can saturate the video, which I don't really know why you'd want to do that, but okay. And you can turn up the color sync, turn down the color sync, which is pretty cool. This kind of blurs it out. Actually, that's pretty cool. That's like that RGB uh, spread and, and effect, which is pretty cool. And you can also turn up the roll, just like on the other one, except it is still static, which is kind of disappointing. Why, why is it static? Well, we'll get to that in a second. Actually, we'll get to that right now. Um, if you go over here and you click this little thing right here, if you can see on the clip, if you click on that, it gives you show video animation. Go into the video animation, you click this little peak here, and you can go ahead and mess with this peak. So you can bring that all the way over, you can even come all the way down here, let me zoom out a bit, just a little bit. You can come all the way down here, am I zoomed out enough? No, I'm not. Come on, Final Cut. You can come all the way over here and have it, you know, go like that, and then it'll roll, and then it'll roll backwards. It's pretty cool, and you can sync that up to your video and make it look really nice. So it's basically automated rolling, where you don't have to sit there and uh, go ahead and keyframe it, which is what most plugins do. They really just make keyframing less of an issue, which is nice. Um, so that's, you know, the main, the main rolling uh, old TV type effect that you can do. Um, so, you know, you can check that out. Uh, it's actually free on fcp.co, and uh, thank props to whoever created that. I can't remember his name, sorry. Um, also, there's another kind of glitchy effect you can go for. Uh, it's actually just very simple. It comes with Final Cut. You don't have to pay any extra. It is called the Static Transition. I believe it's called Static. Yes, it is. Uh, you basically put the Static Transition on a cut, and it'll just, you know, do some really crappy static, actually. Uh, so that's cool. You know, you can do that, of course. Um, and another thing you can do is overlays. Um, if you've seen editing packs before, editing packs always seem to have a lot of really cool glitchy, glitchy, glitchy overlays, which you can use. Um, one of the glitchy overlays that I use a lot, I'm going to find it. I guess we can mess around with a few before I find it, because it's going to take a second, is the static. There we go. 
So that kind of, it's kind of cool because if you go into here and you go to blend mode, add, which you obviously hit by going to info, you can have this really cool static effect. And you can also make the static effect more apparent by going into your effects and finding like glow, for example, or what's the other one, dazzle. Put dazzle on there. And then it actually glows a little bit more on the screen and kind of you can see it a little bit better. You can also add a second one onto here, which I do sometimes. And then you can turn this one around like this. And of course, you got to hit add again on the, comp on the compositing. And you can have double the effect, which is also pretty cool. So that's one of the many uh, overlays that exist out in the wild. Um, you can go and check out all of those on the internet everywhere. There's also the typical glitch noise effect, which you can, of course, also go into add on the, comp on the compositing. And you can have it, you know, pretty much blend in with the video, which is also very cool. This, of course, requires, once again, finding the effect yourself. Um, and then also you have some more uh, typical, if you want some more typical effects that come with the program, um, there's the projector flickering, which is really cool too. It actually, actually, it actually looks really good for a Final Cut uh, effect, to be honest. And you can turn up the amount and really have it going insane, which kind of looks cheesy. I think really the fact that it's, it's, it's simplistic, where it's like this and it only has a small amount, is really what makes it realistic. So here's a little tip of the day for all of you editors out there. Simplicity is king. Don't go too far with your editing. I know sometimes I do some crazy dubstep edits. I know I do that. But to be honest, even those edits are much more simple than things like Baker's edits and things like, uh, I can't really think of any other names on top of my head because I don't watch a lot of them. But there's a lot of people out there who do crazily over-edited bullshit. And I do it sometimes too. I'm guilty of it. I'm guilty as charged. Uh, so really, simplicity is king, especially in something like this. You don't want, you know, crazy effects like this that just look like they're straight out of Windows Movie Maker. You want something simple, even lower down, like I am right, like where I am right now. That little bit of flicker, it just looks perfect. And uh, there you go. That's pretty much my tutorial on how to get a glitchy effect on your video. It's turned out to be a little bit more complicated and informative than I thought it would be. Uh, because I started remembering other effects that you guys can try out as I go. Sometimes I just wing it, and I come up with a bunch more information than you would have normally got. So, lucky you guys. That's pretty much it. I am Tony. If you guys enjoyed the video, once again, comment below and tell me about other tutorials you want to see. And subscribe if you want to see more of these in the future.